Each of these tuning posts has two eyelets. One here, one over here. There's two ways to do this. One using the first top hole first, and the other way is threading the string through the bottom hole first. I don't think there's a right or wrong here. I think what will happen is when it just really depends upon how much pressure you want here in your nut. If you want less pressure, then you want to use the upper hole first and then wrap the string underneath and go through the second hole. If you want more pressure on your nut, then you would feed it through the bottom one, obviously, and then do a top wrap and put the string through the top hole. And when you're finished with that method, the string will have a greater angle here. Here, I fed the string through the, the stop bar and the bridge, resting on the bridge. And if I pull it tight, I suppose that will be okay, but I'm going to give it a little bit of slack here. Because once I'm complete, then I'll have some journey radius here. I'll have some of the string around this post, this side of the post. Because, this is my personal preference, because I like my strings to be a slinkier feel, I like to have less pressure here and less pressure down at the bridge, which is the stop bar adjustment, which is a video for another day. As you see, I wrapped it underneath, or fed it through underneath, and I'm going to then feed this end through this hole here, and then turn this, cut off the excess, and the string will lock. This seems about as good as I'm going to get this today. Let's go on to the A string. Okay, again, for me, I'm going to do the top hole first. I pull the string as far as I can, and I'm going to let some slack out. Now I'm going to feed the string underneath, feed the end of the string underneath the, what, main part of the string? <laughs> Whatever you may call that. So wrap this around, keep it taut, and then feed the other end through the other hole. Now I have gone underneath. Now I'll keep some pressure on here as I turn the key to wrap the string around the post. If I get to the point where this is going to continue to move in this direction, I'm going to go under the string. The reason these tuners work, as far as locking is concerned, is because it has two kinks in the wire. One, uh, you know, a normal tuning has one hole. So you put one kink in the wire and turn the string around the post. This one, because of the two holes, you have the first kink, roll it around, and then you get the second kink. And that indeed will keep the string in place. So far, here's a side view. Now, obviously some of you would want to have this string wrapped under. And there's nothing wrong with wrapping some under and some over. It just depends upon what your preference is. I'm going to keep all of them consistent for the time being. Maybe in future changes I'll try something else. But for now, I'm just going to keep everything consistent. Here's a little tip. You may want to go from E. You may want to work this way, up the posts. Uh, that way you have clearance each time you put the new string on. Here's a shot of a finished job. Here's a side shot so you can see what the angle looks like when you feed your string through the top post first. So I hope this helps you out, then you have a good day.